Welcome back everybody, Todd Huey here with Lone Star Boars and Huey Outdoors. And we're going to do my uh, top thermal picks for 2022. Not much has changed. Um, there's a few new entries in the lower level, but other than that, everything is is kind of the same as 2021, but we'll we'll go over everything. Um, you're going to notice there are, there are no Chinese uh, models here. I, I refuse to sell things that will benefit the Chinese Communist Party. I think they're our number one adversary, our number one enemy, and I refuse to support them until, I guess, when they run everybody else out of business. If they manage to do that, then that's all that we can sell, and we'll, we'll deal with that if that ever happens. Hopefully it does not. Um, just so you know, the Chinese versions are iRay, Bearing Optics, AGM, Burris, and then there's a whole slew of new little pop-ups. I don't even know the names. It seems like a, a new one every month. The Chinese contact me regularly. I can get the same scopes that everybody else has and call them Huey Outdoors if I want to. I, I turn them down, but, but that's just the name of the game right now. They're coming in uh, fast and cheap. My best advice to you is if, if you can't afford anything else and you have to get Chinese, go look up Alibaba and buy it there and cut out the middleman and save yourself uh, somewhere a couple thousand dollars, you know, somewhere in that range amount of money. So now that that's out of the way, let's get to my top picks. As far as the top dog, nothing's changed. We have the Envision Halo XRF. 50 millimeter, the 50 millimeter lens is, is my favorite. You get field of view, you get magnification. I've said it a thousand times, but if, if you're new watching this, the Envision has the same internals as a Trichicon. It just has, in my opinion, a better operating system. It has more features, a better warranty, and a better lens. With Trichicon, you can choose between 35 and 60 millimeter. The Envision uses a 50 millimeter. You're only losing about two, two and a half foot field of view over the 35 millimeter. Then you're only losing, it's less than a half an X magnification versus their 60 millimeter. So this does what both Trigicon scopes do in one package for less money and a longer warranty. Now you have three versions of this. This is the XRF. This is the top of line ver version of it. Image wise, they're all the same. The LR is the base model, then there's the X that's in between this and XRF. But image-wise, they're all three the same. They just have different features. The LR has no rechargeable batteries, no vi onboard video recording, no Wi-Fi out, just a plain Jane scope, just like the Trigicons. This one, or the X that's in the middle, has 18650 rechargeable batteries and video recording. And then this one, the XRF, has all of that, 18650, 18650 rechargeable batteries that are about $10 to $11 a piece right now. It has an onboard video recording. It has Wi-Fi video out. And then it has a really nice range finder. I've been getting um, non-reflective targets like cattle. I'm 2,000, 2,300 yards. It shows up right in the screen, top right-hand corner. you got a little box right by your reticle that you put on your target so you don't have to flip screens you don't lose your reticle everything's ready to go this is the best scope on the commercial market nothing's going to compare with it image wise especially at range um, the farther out you get the more this pulls ahead of the competition the other envision options are they, they sell a 35 millimeter in the halo this is the Knox 35. If I was going 35 millimeter, this is what I would get personally. It's small, it's compact. If you want to put it like I got it on an SBR here, it is focusable for different ranges, but you can set it for infinity. Mine is set for infinity. It has a Wilcox mount on the top, so you can helmet mount it if you want, and a return to zero mount at the bottom. This one is a good medium to close range weapon sight. It's the same basically as the Trigicon Reap 35 millimeter, except you get an 18650 battery, the focusable lens. Um, I think it's a better user setup, menu setup. You don't have to go through all menus. You just push a button for what you want. You don't have to go to menu two, menu three, 
any of that. Again, five-year warranty versus three-year warranty. So if you want something small for an SBR, the Knox 35 is the way to go. If you want something helmet mounted, now this is the Knox 18. As you could see, this is a P L3 Warrior System PVS 14 right next to it. They're virtually the same size. This one has a longer battery tube because I have the 18650 battery. You can run CR123s and then that cuts that down. But this is a true 1X thermal weapon side. It has a return to zero mount on the bottom, the Wilcock mount, which is mount to the helmet for. It's true 1X, so when you're walking around, this is what I wear. It's always on my helmet. It's what we wear when doing the ATV videos so we can see what's out past the lights or when we're running without lights I'm able to ride my bike with this I'm able to walk with this and we're able to drive the ATV with this um, because it's true 1x wide field of view you lose depth perception with a thermal because you're looking at a computer screen but this gets it done as far as weapon mounted I usually use it on a 22 let my kids shoot varmints with it uh, because it is only 1x there's not much magnification so it's a up close and personal deal. So after the Halos, the next best choice would be Trigicon, but they cost more money. They don't do as much. In fact, I don't even, the only Trigicon I have left on any weapon sites is I got a Reap 35 here on that uh, Banshee 10 millimeter. I've taken all my 60 millimeters off and replaced them with 50 millimeters. I still sell them, but again, if, if you they cost more money, you get less from them. There are some people that want it, they just want that Trigicon name, but you're getting less of a product, in my opinion, than what you're getting with the Envisions. So next down the list is gonna be Pulsar. And Pulsar released the Thermion Pro line, at least in the XP50s. There is no Pro line in the XQs yet, because um, I don't know, but maybe next year. There is no difference in image between the Pro line and the Thermion 2s that they replaced, the difference comes, well, two things. The major difference is you can get it with a rangefinder now, built-in rangefinder. That, the model without the rangefinder will not have this on top. It will still have the traditional focus ring that goes around here. This one has the focus ring up here. This is a thousand dollars extra, but you do get a rangefinder built in. The other noticeable difference about the Pro Series, Thermion 2 Pro Series is, battery life image again no change in image but the that was the downfall at least for me for the thermions is even with the bigger battery i was only getting four to five hours battery life um and that's that's in texas weather that's not sub-zero that's not close to to zero that's usually above freezing now with the pro series you're getting six to nine hours with the smaller battery, not even the big battery. So a drastic improvement in battery life with still a great image. Um, so that's what's changed with Pulsar. They've, they have not increased the price at all. They maintain the same price. So you get better battery life. You get the range finder for the same price as what you used to get the, the Trail XP54. Now you get the Thermion with a better lens, a better screen than what the Trail was. So, big step up for, for no different money. Now we'll get into monoculars again. The Envision, oh wait, wait, I forgot. One last thing, this is really important. For you guys on a budget, before all you had that was not Chinese made was the Pulsar RXQ30. It had no video recording, it had a cheap, cheap lens, no, no focus, um, but the price was right. Now they've introduced the Talion XQ38. Here it is right here on my, my Noveski. Now it has video recording. It has a focusable lens. That's a huge deal. Before, they were set focus at 50 yards. Anything closer than that, anything farther than that could would be out of focus. Now you can actually focus. Is the, the XQ38 close enough to the Thermion XQ38? I don't think so. I would still buy the XQ38 Thermion before I got the Talion, but there's people that you know, they're they're on a budget. If you're if you're on a budget and you don't want to buy Chinese, the Talion XQ38 is going to be the way to go. Again, focus, 
rechargeable batteries, video recording, um, nice small package. This one has the QD mount. The first few shipped with a QD mount. Uh, the, the regular production models after the first few are not going to have a QD mount, but you can buy this QD mount as an accessory. So um, for the money, this is an excellent option. Now, monoculars. Again, Envision Knox 35. It comes with a QD mount. You can take this off, look with it, scan with it. You can even helmet mount it, then put it back on your weapon and go. This is a good medium range. It's basically the same as the Trigicon Reap 35 millimeter. if you've looked through those or seen one. Um, but it still has this, has 18650 batteries, uh, has out, video out, but no onboard video. It's, it's tiny. It's too much magnification to walk around on a helmet, in my opinion. But if you're going to sit in a stand or if you're calling coyotes and you're not moving, you can still helmet mount this, be hands-free, and, and good to go. If you want to be helmet mounted, what we already talked about, the Knox 18 is the way to go. It's tiny. It's the same size as a PVS-14. 1X. Great field of view. I can still see stuff 900, 1,000 yards away. It might be tiny, but I can usually identify it by the way they're moving. And if I can't, then I can pull up my weapon sight and do it. But I'm totally hands-free. Next up would be the Pulsar for monoculars would be the Pulsar Helion XP50 Pro. It's a great unit. I've used these for years. Um, I have the one before still. It's out in my truck that is not the Pro model. It is beat up. It, it doesn't even have the color to it anymore, but still works great. Uh, this is going to be the best monocular that, that Pulsar makes with the cleanest image, uh, good image, video recording, color screen. Uh, you can get this IPS 14 battery that will last you 10 to 10 to 14 hours constant use. If you're in a budget, the best budget thermal right now is the Axion XG35 or the XG35 with a rangefinder. I don't have the rangefinder model here, but the XG35 produces the best image for the money, I think. It, it's, a, it's the lower end, but they put a better screen in it. Uh, better lens and it's a good deal the cheapest budget one which I don't have one but I have them in stock is the XQ38 Axion uh, it doesn't produce as good an image as the XG35 but it is cheaper and it is still a decent image again if you're on a budget you can use that like I said if you have a your weapon site you use one of those you find something out there if you can't identify your target at least you know there's something alive out there and you can use your weapon sight to identify it after that. But these things are tiny, get good battery life, and for the money, it's the XG35s are a really good image. And the XQ38s are a good image, but the, again, the XG35 is a better image. All right, that's, that's my top... Oh, I forgot, EOTech. EOTech has some great clip-ons. I am not a clip-on fan. But the new EOTechs, uh, we do carry those, the Clip IRs, and um, it's a very good image. And then the, the base model clip-on that I would buy, the only one that I would buy that's under $13,000 would be the Pulsar Krypton XG50. So that would be your budget uh, clip-on, and you're still in the $5,000 range there, but that's going to be your best one under $13,000. If you're not going to get the Pulsar, Real clip-ons really start in the $13,000 range and go up from there, and that's going to be your, your EOTechs. All right, that's, that's about everything. Uh, phone number's on the screen. The website is where everything is. If you get a website, HueyOutdoors.com. If it shows in stock, it is in stock. I manage the stock myself. I make sure that it's current. Um, anything ordered... Monday through Thursday before 3 p.m. Central Time ships out the same day. If it's ordered Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it'll ship out on Monday. So go check out the website, or if you have any questions, give me a call at the phone number on the screen. Thank you for watching.